Yeah, they still have a smoke on a Molotov that they haven't used, so they're holding on to that. The smoke is up. Oh, he came with a good headshot. They'll follow it up, taking down Nork. They already used the utility. They have to commit to this. And that Molotov is pretty good. Oh. Alex and Saiwu both kind of halfway fighting inside of it. And now it's a four on three. And the bomb is at least going to be going down here, but it'll be hard to hold, I think, for an IP. Very hard to hold. Plopski, he's kind of pinned down, and the smoke is just clearing, and he didn't get all the way back, so he's kind of exposed out in the open. He's got Lepro for backup. They win the initial fight. It's Zaiwu now going to try and make a stand in towards the retake, and he's shut down as well. Plopski delivering with four kills in the pistol round. NIP starting on the right foot. Be pretty confident that Zaiwu's going to deliver. Who's going to be the second guy next to him? Nice angle. Actually, maybe he did some damage to Shock, so maybe it could have been even more. RPK will take down Nock, though, and now they can really relax. Five versus three. 45 seconds left, and Vitality in a very, very good position here. Molotov at 15 seconds to go down in front of me. <laughs> what an absolute kick. That's amazing. RPK waiting behind. They've won the round with that Molotov. There's not even any doubt about it. It's not possible for them to get into the bomb site in time. RPK with a double. Might as well have been a triple there at the end. He stepped up his game so massively in recent times, and he's been very reliable. That's a good position from Nock. He got there so quick, and now he knows there's a second, and that's an easy one. Shooting people, unlike Harry Potter, that, that never happened, but... Um, no, Harry Potter didn't really do a whole lot of aggressive stuff, did he? It wasn't like that. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that kind of a wizard. Shocks will go down. I, not even con I'm not sure why they wanted to linger around outside of that. It, that was, that was going to be a 5-on-3 retake with... I mean, those two kills happened without them investing any grenades or anything. You could have you guessed they would have had a lot to hold that down with. Yeah, uh, you're fine with Shock seeing what he can get from that boost box or from that from that little gap in the boxes, and you're fine with the op and Zaiwu playing a far back angle and see if he can get one pick, but at a certain point, back away and preserve the weapons. This is going to hurt, especially if this is taken from Zaiwu, and he's getting boxed in. Rez is coming from behind. It won't even matter. Alex, that's dangerous there. Not that many people. I mean, he could get flashed in, but there's no one there to revenge any kind of a kill, and I think that's the AWP trying to back him up, so... It isn't going to be some sort of a, you know, a long fight here. If he goes down, that's it. One shot maybe, and then he has to fall back again. Rez goes down, and that little hit and run actually works out. Escapes past the wall banging, too. It, it's a risky play, and you're right, it does pay off. But not only that, what a, what a long route to fall back. There's the ops chiming in, but it's just the one kill. Plopski, an immediate trade, and Zaiwu. Got to be careful with this peak. Waiting for Nox to come around the corner. Ooh, and he's taking him down to 13 health. Zaiwu can back away, and this looks like a solid defense for the first time in a long time for Vitality. Really important kill for Zaiwu, and obviously, as you said, the leg shot there as well, or the hip shot coming in on Nork, putting him down. It's a little, little bit more painful for Vitality. Another one would be huge. That's even RPK going down. It's pretty good, big in the middle. He's got 24 seconds. That's the big issue, and he's going to be jumping right up into certain death. Still, that's more damage that Vitality wish they hadn't taken. If they start a round out with three to four yeah. players over towards this A bomb site, this A ramp, that's that's usually going to be their final goal. They don't like readjusting across the map a whole lot. That's a big kill and an even bigger miss from Zaiwu. Now they're sneaking in. Another kill could be happening here. Shocks almost showing the shoulder, and now they're getting a bit closer with the pistols up there. Shocks will take a first kill at least, but again, this is getting tricky. That's Rez flanking in from the other side to take down Alex. And now with 33 seconds, it is still a three on three. They have no kits. And they have, they have what, just a little bit of nades. Great shot from Nock. And Shock's trying to hold on, but he's been forced back every step of the way, and Nock's finally had him. He's been hunting him this whole time. And this is a round of all Deagles coming in. Lecro's going to end it. I mean, one flashbang set up there with RPK. Not even going to be able to chance. Ooh. Alex has it. Not going to really do much at all. Apex with the one kill, and actually Alex is there to take down Rez, so again, making some of these rounds interesting. They've stolen the Krieg in the meantime too, and it's a four on three. It's just such a powerful weapon to just walk in right here. Apex again, can't manage that angle with the 5-7, but Shox can with the Deagle. Twist didn't expect the second player. All Nock can really do at this point is keep him pinned down. No progress to be made. Lecro blinded and shut down again. Vitality back on the board with the fourth round. Some basic utility being thrown out. Shox looks like he wants to get aggressive with Alex again. You mentioned it. This is what gave him such good control in the previous round, and maybe even rotating players over to the other side of the map quick enough to recover. 9-6, around 8-7, right in that middling of a half. Oh, the jump comes out, and they wanted to punish it, and Alex was set up for just that. They're going to be falling back a bit and trying to smoke it off. Molotov not really going to do anything at this point in time. Nice headshot from Saibu, and the follow-up could have nearly been there. Still a three versus, oh, sorry, four versus two here with Nork and Plopski. Limited on time, and I think it's very much being signaled what's coming in. Yeah, limited on time, limited on utility. They're going right at shocks, even with that low HP. 
He can just take a shot and back away. It's only Plopsky left, and yeah, he's gonna play. Oh, that is a good transfer over. That was the low HP, but that's all he's gonna get. Off is picked up as well. Yeah, and Apex is really, really far down the B stairs, so he actually knows that pretty much no one is out there, and now they're gravitating the entire defense, except for Apex, over to this side. So, again, great informational play coming out from the CT side. They actually know a lot about what's happening here. Shock's creeping in. They've got a little unit out to find them as NIP are trying to set up. The uh, French and British are going to try and see if they can shut them down. RPK with a kill on Nork. Saiwu with a bit of an early shot. He's going to get that one, and he crouches right down to avoid any kind of retaliation. Lecro there with the Deagle, but there should be almost no contest. I think Vitalis need to take a deep breath right now and not fight. There's only 30 seconds left. It's a two on three. No point in going for this any longer, and they're going to win that last round as well. Eight to seven at the end of the half. It's not going to matter this time, but it is used to look over the smokes, the set piece smokes that come into that bomb site, and maybe be able to pick off one or two. Instead, Twist and Plopsky to defend. Yep, Twist has a smoke, but I don't think it's going to be in time. They've already run down Plopsky, and oh, what a swing from Saibu. He is ready to play right here. 14 kills I'm in already. Two of them in this pistol round, and the smoke up to try and block them from coming through. That's so aggressive. Bomb goes down almost immediately. How do you retake this? I, I just don't no, even know. You, you don't at all. This smoke is so brutal. I think even, did he pick that up off of a dead body as well as yep. he ran his way in? That so that's, that's NIP's own smoke used against him. And it's going to make the retake. Now they do have a kit on the ground if they can find these kills, but there's just so many different crossfires set up at the moment. zaiwu has got three kills and the pistol round is going to be swept aside. Vitality take it. Again, B stairs really quickly. Lecro and Rez are on the other side checking it out. They're sort of not feeling any pressure on the A side, but they still need the info really quickly. And this is no signal, no flashbangs or anything. Plopsky just caught in the middle of it. That's a brutal way to hit it. We talked about the speed last time. This was a different kind of a fake. Alex even throwing the Molotov and then trying to run in front of it. What a smart play. Yeah, he didn't think Nock was going to be there so quick. He was trying to give the illusion that they would be you know what? deeper into the bomb site. You, you like that? You're, you're fine with it? I'm fine with it. I'll give, him, <laughs> I'll give him full credit, full points for that play, even if he died. I don't think that is the important part. I think that it's the, it's the thought of doing it. I'd like to know if this is something that they research. Are they losing some guns at the end? But they could also get sniped off, so we'll have to see if they if they switch that around. I mean, this time Plopsky is all the way up to the lip of the bomb site. Instead now, they're hitting on the A side and already all the way up the ramp. Nork is sneaking past them, trying to see if he can shoot them in the back. It's a pretty good lineup, but he's also exposed. It doesn't matter. He's going to spray every single one of them down. That worked out so well. Apex actually jumped up in front of him to make his life just that bit easier. I cannot believe that worked out so well. He even took a tick of damage from the Molotov. I thought that audio cue would have been the signal to Vitality that someone was sneaking in, but maybe some communication. They just didn't hear it. Shox has opened up the middle of the map. The problem is they don't have control of the bomb, but with... There's another flashbang on Twist, so he could actually set this up for Nork if, they, if they're really aggressive about it. Bit of a grenade, and the lineup, they actually get the kill anyway, but they're so low on health. Any chance here, and Twist is going to be winning the clutch as well. There's the one, and he falls back around the corner. Now out in the open, and nicely done from Twist. It's just an automatic smoke almost at this point from the CT side. And if you can use it against them... Oh, and just again, the speed. It was on the B-bomb side before, but this time they do it on the A side. They're so quick, Vitality. Not really concerned with throwing a lot of flashbangs and smokes or any kind of elaborate setups. They're beating NIP on time here, and that's... That's cool to see. It's the exact the retake sort of smoke that you were talking about. I mean, but they're, they're two men down, so they don't have all the grenades that they would normally have. But they do create these really cool walls. A lot of patience on Saibu able to set this one up. Just no problem. Yeah, they're still doing that boost over the smoke, which I think is really clever. They do get spotted out. Pretty wide peak for a FAMAS, but he's still able to win the fight. And that's really awkward. Apex out in the open, and he nearly actually... Could have got that kill. He certainly had the time for it. Just got a flash he could actually throw from the middle. So this could get... Oh, he's just put out the, the one smoke there. I think he had maybe another grenade, but... 30 seconds. Plopsky hiding inside at the corner. And there's that crossfire with the AWP on twist. And they're going to try and see if they get in here. Are they actually trying to run boost their way through? Oh, dear. This is madness right in front of the crosshair. And they still don't know about that M4. It's hiding inside of the smoke all along. Plopsky getting RPK. And this is looking very good at the moment. Shots in a one versus three. He's going to get the first kill. But how does he clear this corner? He's not even going to get a chance. They're, again, they're so far back on this defense, NIP. It seems dangerous to me. They're going to try and wrap through, and they're actually just running headshots coming in. Saibu with two kills, taken down by that Molotov on Lecro. Nock with a close range AWP shot makes it a bit easier. The bomb, though, is being planted on the other side. Chance for a headshot for Apex. Yeah, they're going to need those grenades right here, right now.
crouch spray in from RPK. He's down by Nork. Another AWP shot is needed here. The smoke, I don't think, is going to do it for them. There it is from Nork. And Shock's hiding inside. He's got the knife. He's stabbing him inside. And then, oh, the defuse. It is done. Shocks will be able to pick it up in the end. They have three smokes and a Molotov and some flashbangs there for the T side to try and get in. They re Molotov that position, which is pretty common again. Smokes are down, but Twist is going to try and push through it. He wants to catch someone coming around this corner. He's got a bit of a wall of smoke right to his uh, side, so at least a bit of a chance. But they're actually sneaking around it. They nearly line up, but Saibu is a bit quicker, and that's the bomb side. Pretty much gone. That was the defense. Everyone else is behind the grenades. And how do they do this? Oh, time is running out, and Saibu had the bomb, and he's down now. So they're going to be put on pause for a second here. 13 of them left, and... Now they're close. They want to try and see if they could do this. Maybe a chance for an IP. If they could get the kill on the guy finding the bomb right now, that would be it. Five seconds left, but the bomb does get planted. And just like that, it's a two on four, making a one on four as Nork is the last person left. And with the Deagle, he's pretty good, but it's not going to be enough. Instead, triple kill for shots and 15 rounds for Vitality. So this is what they've got to try and and find a miracle. And that might have been it. Plopsky, who actually has been pretty consistent at getting one kill on this B-bomb side every time they show up. There's the lurk in towards mid. Shock's going to try and create something while his teammates pressure the extremities of the map. Oh, and he should surely gonna get a kill off this one. That flashbang, it's a team flash. And now he can just sit and wait. Molotov comes in. He's going to smoke it out. He can be patient. He's gathering so much attention on him. Two players focused on his position, not including the kill he already got. Or just, if he stays alive now, it's even better. He's got the Molotov in hand. He's playing the way that our RPK was trying to play on this bomb site, and RPK got the wrong timing. Popsky's got the right timing. He's got a bit of the Molotov doing a bit of damage and also slowing them down just a tiny bit. Trying with that CC, he gets a follow up kill. That's a huge double for Popsky, and he's back with a reload. He needs more, but yeah, the panic is set in now. RPK, Whoa. a headshot, I can't believe it. Even backing up and taking down Lepro, and a chance here 16 to 12. Here comes a delayed flashbang to let this execute come to fruition. Oh, they're trying to get down. Oh, no, they get tapped away. Lecro, beautiful shots. They just wanted to get down the vents, and they got shot in the back of the head instead. Alex is trying to creep out a bit late with the Glock to take the fight. It's going to have to take a miracle to get them back in the round. That's a mid-air headshot from Alex. The last bullet as well. Not even really aiming. You're just hoping they walk into the bullets, and surely that grenade is going to finish them off if the USP didn't. One to nothing for the ninjas. And they're putting a lot of speed behind this one as well. RPK going to be surfing right down into mini. And already this a bomb site could be compromised a lot. Kill on Lecro, but the return is there for Rez. And he's now down on the hot with the Famas and Twist helping out. And this defense is looking pretty good all of a sudden. Saibu, the last one left, and he's going to take a dive into the vent with the bomb and a smoke. And still a chance for this one versus two to work out in his favor. Smoke does nothing up there at all. He goes for the fight, and Nock will go down now. Twist coming in from the same angle, and Sai will win it, a quad kill. Twist, oh, he's in a dangerous position out here. With the oh, I can't believe that Alex Apex actually wins that one. What a ridiculous flick. Yeah, that was, that's going to be stressful, and another one right through the smoke for no good reason. Sai is going to build on it, and here's your crazy French Counter-Strike. It's arrived. Lecro is just like, here, I'll break my leg, just so you know exactly where I'm at. I'm the limping, the limping gazelle of the herd. Taking all the attention away. You, hopefully not can, you know, the sacrifice is worth <laughs> But, um, we talked about Apex playing that style over on the, uh, he's still fighting, even though he's got eight health. He's still leading the charge. I feel like, I feel like he just is the crazy bulldog of this team. There's no one outside here. This is going to be fast paced towards the upper bomb, so they want to try and make it in. They're going to get slaughtered. Lepro's already on the lower ground. They're running through explosions and fire, and Nock's going to take another one. RPK just has to back out. Now, all this attention has left ramp exposed, but Plopsky was pushed the whole time. The whole time. The whole entire time, and he got that kill, no problem. RPK gets blown up, another one for Popsky, and the uh, flick is not going to come through this time for Alex. You could see the result of it, it just gets shut down. Opening kill for Lecro, they have no idea, but Locks, or Nock has missed his chance. Yeah, he had a bit of an opportunity, Saibu will get one in return, Lecro getting flanked from Shox, that's a nice kill with the AK, and a a Alex there to make sure they weren't going to be flanking it, that's a really heads up play, and just like that MIP, yeah, oh, he, they're hunting for him, they want it and they should be able to get this AWP, <laughs> he's really in a lot of trouble here, not going to get that flick, Alex will take him down. Still waiting. Flashbang utility, he's dodged it all. An easy kill as Shox doesn't check the corner, and he's gotten away. That's a despicable, nasty position, and he does it just so damn well. Yeah, get, get a little bit back in the first half. Again, saving the rifles all matters at this point in time, and they're going to be able to do it. Round 13, Vitality full of rifles, limited on nades. They've got to be careful how they use these. You mentioned the previous 
gun round, they ran out of that. And therefore, couldn't really make any attack be effective. Opening kill for the Vi Vitality side, and a second one as well from RPK. So five on three, full control of Yard. Now, the fact that you don't have a lot of utility, it doesn't matter nearly as much. North with some more killers. They're waiting. They finally take him down. RPK comes in and cleans up on Lecro. That's almost impossible. Like, look from our point of view, like if you could have got that shot with the smoke, it would have made a difference, but... That was the kill he needed. Zaiwu overexposed, throwing the Molotov. If he was there maybe a half second earlier, he could have picked that off, and I think they're going to be using some nades towards the upper bomb site. see if Plopsky shifts out of this position. He hasn't done yet. He hasn't budged. He's still watching a very narrow gap. Where's the go sign for Vitality? And how does Plopsky respond? He spotted two. Good kill from Nock, and I think Plopsky surely just going to follow away. He's put the Molotov out. He doesn't have a teammate here. He's still sticking around. Nock has a very shallow angle. That leaves it all on Plopsky, and he gets both. Apex and Shocks fall to their doom. Zaiwu and Alex left in a two on four. What a position to win. It looked like they were about to basically flank him as he was still on the ramp, and he actually saw it coming. He saw the jump down. Zaiwu and Alex. Two versus four at the moment, but Plopsky is an absolute hero once again. He's really played an amazing game. If this goes to map number three, a lot of it is going to be on the back of Plopsky at the moment. Alex in a one versus four now. Alex down here. And oh! <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh no. It's required. Seven to seven, 15th round coming up. We've got Twist just gliding into that battle, and now they can try and see if they can make their way down. They do get down, but Shox um, took one for the team. They're just going to try and speed this up and see if they can throw them for a loop. They have almost no economy, so it makes sense. Oh. But oh, they have Saiwu still with the Deagle to take down Plopsky. A huge fight to be winning. That allows for the bomb plant without much interruption. Twist getting shot in the back. He spins and taps and almost winning the fight. He will, and finally he's going to be going down. Lecro gonna clear to the right, low HP, and he's got it. For the immediate return. Alex now smoked off, but there is a flashbang here in Saibu, setting it up. Timer's running out. Another kill for Saibu. And Vitality stealing around with pure speed once again at the end of the half. 8-7 in their favor. This has been a very, very cool battle between the two squads. Plopsky, I think, was impressive for both of us. And again, fast pace towards the upper bomb site. Plopsky's going to be leading. He's also going to be getting his head ripped off by Saibu and Alex. They combine for three quick kills. Yeah, Sai was still going after the fact, and uh, now it's a 2 on one with Twist down on the low ground. He really, really wants another weapon or anything. That smoke actually, and he picks up the bomb. He's trying to escape. He wanted to play clever there, but Shocks will catch him. Right. Huh. Just needed that. He's missing huh. every single shot, and Plopsky will finally put an end to it. Well, now is the time to kill him then, because you know, <laughs> if he gets back to the other style, it's, it's rough. Nice flashbang setup. Apex and Alex combining for an easy kill there. And that puts it right back in a four on four. With still 40 seconds on the clock, which is a little bit concerning. Twister's got the bomb picked up at the moment and looking to bring it through Mini. He's also alone with the bomb out there. So if he doesn't win the first fight, suddenly it's really weird. I think a little bit of a grenade to slow him down and he's gonna make his way in at least. Gets caught in the middle of And now from, from Squeak instead, it's a one on one. Shocks with a double kill. Plopsky with a double of his own and 20 seconds on the clock. The bomb has been picked up and Shocks wide swing to win the fight with a triple and a nice clutch there. With a right. He's back. That's good. Don't want to be taking any more risks here. Grenade. I mean, he's going to land right on top of Nork, but <laughs> the rest got by just fine. We've got a Tech 9 on Lecro, which is amazing. Don't That's get the to lower see bomb them. Site. Yeah, nearly enough. And yeah, he just won it. Going to be backing up here, though. Apex. Ooh. Ooh. But don't risk your own weaponry. You don't have the economy for this. Only Shox has 2,400. One kill from Zaiwu, but he has no idea one is wrapping around behind him. That's going to take the weapon away at the end. They lose it all. You do underhand throw that sometimes too far. Alex playing on top, and oh, he's, yeah, he heard the signal from his teammate shooting, and he wanted to try and chime in, but he didn't really get much out of it. Oh, and he was jumping. I don't know. I want to see that from Twist's point of view. How did he, I mean, he must have had the top of the head showing. Surely he's, he, yeah, there we go. Turning around Plopsky, but they were, they were right on top of him. That is, that's crazy. I can't believe he, I mean, he could have even been caught, I think, going up the stairs. The ladder the first time around. Alex. With a little bit of a double spray, taking down Plop Skin Twist and back in a 2 1 3. And just gonna use the element of surprise. No chance there for Nork, and that leaves Rez. They have a smoke. They're gonna be smoking the bomb instead. So now, how does he get this stuff done? <laughs> he doesn't. They're on him. It's been three straight for Vitality. 
So to get him shut down without him even having much of a chance to return is amazing. Saibu getting a kill at the edge of the smoke. They want to try and challenge him, but that could also cost them. He's got some more back out out here. A flashbang to make his way down, and he's still thinking about it. He's so aggressive, actually throwing the Molotov right in the face of Nork, which unfortunately doesn't do much of anything, but still it's a good visual. Nork now in a one versus four, and he's got the bomb and a Nork back, back here. Yeah, it's a signal to everyone on the map that, oh yeah, and it doesn't matter if he went any other way. That's an incredible spin. He actually got the kill on shocks. That's already pretty cool. But they're getting closer, 35 seconds, and he's going to get the flick on RPK, turning for it. Vitality really need to take a deep breath. There's no point in throwing this away. He tries for it, but he's going to get shot in the back, and that's 15 on the board for Vitality. <laughs> Here we go, potentially the last round of oh. this series. Oh, it's an upper rush. They're hanging everything on this attack towards the upper bomb site. They're running through flames, through bullets, and it's not gonna work. RPK, Alex, and Apex, all with the kill each. A five on two, and they have no standing into this bomb site. This is gonna be all vitality. Zaiwu even coming through to add two more onto it. 16 to 10.